right when she said they said I treated her better than than my other kids. They really? said I treated her better. <laughs> This is a genuine, crazy shift. I'm going to let you guys talk about this. In emotion, I think, to sadness, maybe remorse. Maybe there's some remorse there. And you can see when the smile just falls off the face. I think it's a really interesting clip. There is this hysterical laugh. Treated her better. <laughs> By that, I mean it's extreme and it comes out of nowhere. All laughter comes from tension. All laughter is a release of tension. So, you know, if you tell a joke, there has to be tension already about the subject matter that the punchline causes the audience or, or whoever's watching you to release it. Or the, or the linguistics of the joke are designed to build tension in the storytelling that's then released uh, on that on that punchline into, into laughter. So all laughter has tension. <laughs> This is such an extreme laugh that there must be some extreme tension around this. They said I treated her better because as, as we know, in hindsight, the way she treated that child is, uh, you know, it, it can't can't be talked about without uh, without getting us taken off YouTube. Um, but then this laughter, just as you say, Chase, collapses into nothing instantly. Again, I don't think I've seen on record a laugh like this. This is the point where I personally go, I think we should run. I, I don't conjecture on what's in her head, but there's something related to how she's treated her kids. Look, a lot of people are volatile, explosive, and then remorseful, and volatile, explosive, and then remorseful. People who have emotions that fill the room, and by that I mean to the wall in every direction, often are that way. You know, that huge fake smile that, that goes away really, really quickly, it's less than two seconds that thing disappears there at the end. I've, I've talked about Doc Watson on here before. He's, he's, he was a blind guy, a guitar player, famous guitar player. He was my dad's best friend, right? And when we tell him jokes, or when I would tell him a joke, and he, he would be nice and act like he thought it was funny, he'd smile real big, but then really quickly, that fast, the smile would go away because being blind, he wasn't used to seeing how long people are polite by leaving that smile on their face. And then but if something was really funny, then that face would, would the smile would last a while, and it would slowly go away. And in this case, even though she's been around other people and knows that, that it should it should go away slowly, and she should still leave that smile on there. It doesn't happen because that that's not a real emotion. So when we go from, we've talked about this before, a couple of videos back where someone goes from one emotion to another motion to another motion or to another one expression to another to another like that, just bang, 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 bang. Those are fake expressions. It was Amber Heard, that's what it was. When uh, she would do those things, she'd uh, one and then the other and the other. That's when you know they're fake. That's when you, you, you can count on them not being real. And that's what's happened in, in, in this case. That's why it disappears so quickly. All right, we good? Yeah. All right. Yep. Yeah, Mark got you all on that one. If you liked this video, please head over to watch the full video on our main channel.